Hi, thank you for clicking on this video. Here, I'll make some comments on the law school recitation scenes in the movie Bar Boys, written and directed by Kip Obenda. Uh, his movie now, he put it up in YouTube, so you can watch it for free. I'll put the links down below. So what you can do is when I say when the scene appears, you can skip to that scene and so that you can uh, watch as I describe the scene. I'm Dean Rod Vera. Aside from being a law school professor that teaches intellectual property and a uh, law school dean, I am also an entertainment lawyer. For the last seven years, I've been working with TBA Studios. I'm their lead counsel, corporate secretary, contract administrator, and now, the last two years, an associate producer of the films. Aside from being uh, part of the movie studio, I'm also <clears throat> uh, uh, an extra bit actor, and I have a scene uh, in the movie Write About Love. It's a TBA Studios production, and it was in the Metro Manila Film Fest of 2019. Coincidentally, that movie stars Rocco Nasino, who is also in Bar Boys. As you can see a picture here, I took a picture in the press uh, briefing with Rocco Nasino. Let's begin. Thank you for clicking on this video. Um, I am Dean Rod Vera. Do me a favor and please like and share this video. And please do subscribe. It helps my channel grow and it'll give you good luck. And three years of better luck. Welcome back. Uh, another disclaimer. Today, I am not talking or going to comment about movie as a movie producer or as part of a movie studio. I'm here as a law school professor who has daily recitations in his class. Scene number one, the first law school recitation. To set up the scene, uh, as I see it, it's, this is probably the first day of the first semester of their first year. And they're going to their first class, which is persons and family relations. This is a core subject, a major subject uh, in first year, first semester. Some say it's a make or break subject. Here's the scene. So the professor here uh, plays along and tries to be in disguise. And and sits along with the students before the students come in. So there's a little bit of chit chatter with the students uh, and saying who the professor might be and who is this cute guy. And of course, well, when the, he reveals himself as a professor, all the students are shocked. My first comment is the shirt with bananas. Normally, a law school professor has to come in like this uh, in a barong or at least in office wear. It's to add a little bit of credence uh, to the students. I understand this is probably some artistic license and um, I won't take it against them. But nevertheless, it's a shirt with bananas. The professor introduces himself as a eighth placer in the bar, has a master's in uh, Harvard Law School, and uh, starts out to traditional law school professor who tries to scare his students. Well, that's normal, especially on the first day of a very hard subject, persons and family law. Although he's a young professor, he went old school by asking for index cards. This is a way so the professors can recognize their students or recognize their students with a picture and of course their name on the index cards and that's where he places his grade. Um, as, he, as he calls on students, he places uh, the grade on the index card, but it's a rather large number, too large for that index card. Aside from that, the index card is also too large. Now every lawyer and every law student would understand that uh, persons and family law starts out with the first uh, 36 or 40 articles of the civil code which talks about um, you know how civil relations should be between citizens of a country uh, the first question in this recitation was about this famous case and every law freshman law student knows this of ching men choi this is a case about psychological incapacity a nomin case based on not infidelity, but um, let's say non-performance. Yeah, it comes out funny because of the certain facts which are revealed in the scene. This scene, of course, adds humor to the effect of uh, the movie, but it could be a scary point in, the, in a freshman uh, law student. What I can comment about this is that usually professors should not insult the name of a student, which the professor did here. And there was a line uh, that was... Uh, said in the movie, I'm a lawyer and I lie sometimes. Remember, lawyers never lie. 
We only say what our clients tell us to say. The second recitation scene. It comes in about 27 minutes into the movie, and it's set up by this lady professor who, incidentally, in the earlier scene of the movie, gave the inspirational speech. Uh, of course, as artistic license, they made the teacher or the professor with an overtly, it's an over-the-top accent. In the timeline of the movie, I believe this is going to be criminal too, because they discuss a certain uh, elements of crime, such as treachery, murder, accidental abortion. Um, criminal law too is taught in the second semester. This time setting in the movie, they're in their second semester of law school of their first year. Uh, my my take on this uh, scene is that they touched a bit on the sexual orientation of certain students. As a law school dean, I think that's a big no-no, uh, especially in a law school. Uh, we are taught to be fair and we do not see color or creed or race or sexual orientation in our students. We just see them as law students and we see them as probably our main course for dinner. One particular scene is that the, the professor tries to pit one student against the other. Sometimes it happens and I do that sometimes but not seriously actually. The grade of a student should be based on the professor's uh, assessment not another student's. The third recitation scene comes in about 34 minutes into the movie. Here, a professor uh, starts out looking scary. All the students are nervous. And when the lady student is called, she has a mental block and she cannot answer the professor's questions. Uh, that happens practically every day in law school. And it is one way for a professor to assess how a law student will be or to assess how a law student can fare as a lawyer. What I particularly want to take notice of is how the teacher here, the professor, compares her intelligence to her looks. Again, I think that's a little bit discriminatory. That attitude or that way of teaching should be frowned upon. About 50 or 55 minutes into the movie, there is a montage of law school life or law, law student life in law school. I think it's an accurate description of law student life in law school. In this scene, the professor is one of my favorite local actresses, Odette Khan. And in this movie, I think she won a acting award as Best Supporting Actress, and I think she rightly deserves that award. Since uh, before the recitation scene um, came out, it showed that the, during the timeline of the movie, the students are in their senior year. In law school, when you're fourth year or senior year, what they have is review classes. They don't have any more subjects they take for the first time. Well, they do take practice court or mood court. But here, um, it is a review classes, so the questions are quick, snappy, and so should be the answers of the law students. Judging from the questions, I think this either is a political law review class or a criminal law review class. In this scene, the professor stands. When the professor stands, I think every law student should be scared. Uh, law, law professors want to sit down during their two to three hour lecture, but in this scene, she was standing up. And when a law professor stands up, I think you should start praying. The questions were fast and quick. Odette Khan, as a law professor, did the often lecture about opinions. Law students should answer recitation questions based on the facts, the law, and jurisprudence, not based on opinion. If you want to cite any opinion, you'd cite the opinion of the justice who wrote the case, or maybe the opinion of a professor who wrote the book. The last recitation scene is about one hour and nine minutes into the movie. It's set up again with uh, Odette Khan as the professor, who they called Justice, which probably means he's a, either a current uh, Court of Appeals Justice or maybe Court of Tax Appeals or something in Bayan. It's very rare for a standing Supreme Court Justice to teach law subjects. I believe this is a criminal uh, law review class because the professor talked about civil liability versus uh, punishment of crimes. Here, the character of the actor Carlo Quino, who incidentally was in our movies uh, Luna and Goyo, he was asked to uh, get out of the classroom because he showed some disrespect by not studying properly. And here is where Odette can, I think, won her award. She talked about the importance of studying and mastering the, the subject while in law school. Here, she gave the best reason 
why law school is taught that way. As a lawyer, a client's life, business, status is dependent upon the work of the lawyer. Any error by the lawyer may not, may not affect the lawyer personally, but it will redound to the client. A mistake of a lawyer could mean that the case is lost, and she eloquently said if a lawyer loses its case, the effects could be devastating. Although I guess that in the time of the movie, it's the climactic scene where everything starts to unravel before the moment where the movie turns up. Uh, normally, the speech of how important um, studying for the law is usually given in the first year or the second semester of the first year. If it's done in the senior year, then I think it's too late for the students to realize that. So there, these are my uh, comments about the five law school recitation scenes in the movie Bar Boys. Uh, please go and watch the movie. Uh, I watched actually when it was in the theaters. It's entertaining. It gives a fairly accurate description of the life of a law student in law school. Thank you for staying until the end of the video. Around here are links to my other videos on tips I have about uh, law school, law students, the professors, and once in a while, a commentary.